Animal Models of Depression, Wikipedia Article Audio Animal models of depression are research tools used to investigate depression and action of antidepressants as a simulation to investigate the symptomatology and pathophysiology of depressive illness or used to screen novel antidepressants. Major depressive disorder, also called clinical depression or often simply depression, is a common, long-lasting, and diverse psychiatric syndrome that significantly affects a person's thoughts, behavior, feelings and sense of well-being. Symptoms include low mood and aversion to activity. Depressed people may also feel sad, anxious, empty, hopeless, worried, helpless, worthless, guilty, irritable, hurt, or restless. They may lose interest in activities that once were pleasurable, experience loss of appetite or overeating, have problems concentrating, remembering details, or making decisions, and may contemplate or attempt suicide. Insomnia, excessive sleeping, fatigue, loss of energy, or aches, pains or digestive problems that are resistant to treatment may also be present. Introduction Depression About one in six people in the U.S. will succumb to depression at some point during their lifespan, and according to the World Health Organization, depression is projected to reach second place as leading contributor to the global burden of disease by the year 2020. The effects of current antidepressant drugs are often significantly delayed, with improvements beginning around 3-6 weeks after treatment is started. Despite the clinical success of many antidepressant drugs, such as tricyclic antidepressants, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, and serotonin reuptake inhibitors, many individual symptoms are not adequately alleviated by medication alone and other methods of treatment may be recommended. It is difficult to develop an animal model that perfectly reproduces the symptoms of depression in patients. Many animals lack self-consciousness, self-reflection, and consideration, moreover, hallmarks of the disorder such as depressed mood, low self-esteem, or suicidality are hardly accessible in non-humans. However, depression, as other mental disorders, consists of endophenotypes that can be reproduced independently and evaluated in animals. An ideal animal model offers an opportunity to understand molecular, genetic, and epigenetic factors that may lead to depression. By using animal models, the underlying molecular alterations and the causal relationship between genetic or environmental alterations and depression can be examined, which would afford a better insight into pathology of depression. In addition, animal models of depression are indispensable for identifying novel therapies for depression. The following endophenotypes have been described. An appropriate animal model of human depression should fulfill the following criteria as much as possible, strong phenomenological similarities and similar pathophysiology, comparable etiology, and common treatment. Again, depression is a heterogeneous disorder and its many symptoms are hard to be produced in laboratory animals. The question therefore remains whether we can know the animal is depressed. Actually, few models of depression fully fit these validating criteria, and most models currently used rely on either actions of known antidepressants or responses to stress. It is not necessary for an ideal animal model of depression to exhibit all the abnormalities of depression-relevant behaviors, just as not all patients manifest every possible symptom of depression. Antidepressant screening tests, not like the models which can be defined as an OR a particular state of an organism that reproduces aspects of human pathology, 
provide only an endpoint behavioral or physiological measure designed to assess the effect of the genetic, pharmacological, or environmental manipulation. Modeling Depression in Animals Certain types of human depression are precipitated by stressful life events, and vulnerable individuals experiencing these stressors may develop clinical depression. Consequently, the majority of animal models of depression are based on the exposure to various types of acute or chronic stressors. Early adverse experiences such as traumatic life events in childhood result in an increased sensitivity to the effects of stress later in life and influence the individual vulnerability to depression. Suitable animal models could provide a basis for understanding potential mechanisms of environmental and developmental factors of individual differences in stress reactivity and vulnerability to disorders. Models of early life stress involve prenatal stress, early postnatal handling and maternal separation. All these treatments have been demonstrated to produce significant effects that last until adulthood. Endophenotypes in Animal Model of Depression Criteria for Valid Animal Models of Depression Antidepressant Screening Tests Despair-Based Reward-Based Anxiety-Based Stress Models Anhedonia, the loss of interest is a core symptom of depression. Anhedonia in rodents can be assessed by sucrose preference or by intracranial self-stimulation, behavioral despair. Behavioral despair might be assessed with tests such as the forced swimming test or the tail suspension test, changes in appetite or weight gain. Depression is often associated with changes in appetite or weight gain, which is easily measured in rodents. Neuroanatomy Depressed subjects display decreased hippocampal volume and rodents exposed to chronic stress or excess. Glucocorticoids exhibit similar signs of hippocampal loss of neurons and dendritic atrophy, neuroendocrine disturbances, disturbances of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis are one of the most consistent symptoms in major depression. The functionality of the HPA can be assessed by dexamethasone suppression test, alterations in sleep architecture, disturbances in the circadian rhythm and especially in the sleep architecture are often observed in depressed. In rodents, it is accessible via electroencephalography, anxiety-related behavior, anxiety is a symptom with high prevalence in depression. Therefore. Animal models of depression often display altered anxiety-related behavior. Maternal deprivation The maternal deprivation model is the most widely used early life stress model. This model manipulates the maternal separation of early life deprivation, in which pups are separated from the dam for 124H per day during the first two postnatal weeks. Maternal separation results in increased anxiety and depression-like behaviors and increased HPA response in adulthood. Adult Stress Models Early Life Stress Models Other Models